What I'm trying to tell you guys is what you are doing tomorrow when you leave here. You have this mentality of this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I never liked that. I, I never liked that feeling of this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And the longer I'm in this field, the more it like opens up to me. And it's amazing the path that I started on and where I am now and all of the different avenues that I can go. And to me, that keeps me motivated and keeps me excited. I've always been one to like variety. And I don't like the same thing over and over and over again. And this field gives me that. And it's awesome. You know, and, and a vehicle comes in and it doesn't run properly. And it's been to multiple garages that can't fix it. And you're the one that took care of it. And you watch it leave. It's a self-rewarding job. You don't need someone to pat you on the back. That car just pat you on the back while you watched it leave. And you let your work speak for what you do. And people will start talking about you. And when people start talking about you, the doors start opening up and all of a sudden you're, you're that guy in that Snap-on picture over there. Look at that picture. That picture is awesome. What are they doing? They're freaking car doctors, right? This is a Snap-on design, Snap-on picture. You know, the car is on a Varus here, but look at the guys. They're wearing scrubs and freaking car doctors, man. That is a whole lot different than the old grease ball, you know, dirt under your fingernails mentality. This is the mentality we need to have coming out of this class. This is what we want to be doing. And as we continue, these doors start opening up for us. You're going to walk into a place 10 years from now and, and they're going to say, well, how much do you want? You're going to be like, I want six figures or, or, you know, we ain't even having this conversation. And you think I'm lying? I'm not lying to you guys. You know, some people would take argument with me and they'd say that only 10% of the people in our field reach this pay threshold. That's because the other 90% don't want it. There's this huge void of interest in this area. Nobody wants it. The reason it's 90% aren't in that pay bracket is because the 90% don't want it. The 90% that are in our field right now thought this field was going to be, I'm gonna change this part, I'm gonna take this bolt off, and I'm gonna put this bolt back on, and I'm gonna be done, that's what I'm gonna do. They don't wanna use their heads. You gotta think about what you're doing. And this isn't hard, this is from some former pot smoking, barely passing high school brain that figured out this isn't that hard. Once we figure out the systems, the designs, the fundamentals with all of this, and we put it together and nobody else wants to do this. Why? It's not that hard. It can't be hard. I am not a smart man. I don't know what you've heard before you came in here. I am not. I, here's what it takes. I like it. Aren't we all good at what we like? You play Madden football. You love Madden football. You are a badass at Madden football. Why? Because you freaking like it. If you don't like it, you're not going to be good at it. So the 90% of people in our field right now, they don't like it. And it might be, I hope not, it might be 90% of you in here. You, this, is, this class is different than what you thought it was going to be. You have to like it. You like the challenge, you like the, I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. You have to like it. You're not gonna be good at something you don't like. This field's cool, man. And it's just getting cooler and cooler. You know, these cars, electric cars, you know, people say that to me all the time. Wait, what about when the gas engine dies and it's electric? Well, don't electric cars have inputs and outputs still? Are they computer controlled still? Are we ready to go? If we know these fundamentals of, of, of switch inputs and, and output solenoids and, you know, how they're controlled and how to test them. Are we going to be fine? Yeah. Now, listen, I, I don't want to give you the wrong idea. When you, when you leave here, when you leave here, you will have the same pay grade as someone who didn't have any school at all. And that sucks. You're going to come through this program and you're going to walk out there and you're gonna think you deserve X amount of dollars and they're gonna offer you the same job they just offered somebody else that came in off the street that had, didn't have any formal education. You can both start in the same position mm -hmm. and you're making the same money. Listen to me, hope you hear my voice when you get to this point in time. Endure it, stay with it because what I'm talking about will come, okay, yeah. but it takes time. This is a hands-on trade field right? You have to have experience before this pay comes. You see those same two people two, three years down the road, the guy with education is making double what the guy with no education was. I've seen it. I lived it. I have a friend. We entered the field the same time. I went to school here. He did not. Huge difference. Huge difference. It'll come.
You have to like it. You have to want it. What's more important to us right now? What's more important would be touch everything. Get to a job where they allow you to touch everything, not just an oil and brake guy. It's more important than the money right now. Get your feet wet, I guess is the phrase. Got to get your feet wet? No. Got to walk before you can run? Is that one? Yeah. <laughs> Please. My wife makes fun of me all the time because I'll say like, uh, I have too much on my table right now instead of plate. I have this weird like, <laughs> like tick, but I don't get any of them right ever. Something's wrong up here.